Back in 2013, San Francisco provided the venue and focus for a revolution. Foiling had come to the America's Cup, thanks to the Kiwis. Yet, despite leading the foiling agenda, Emirates Team New Zealand saw victories slip through their fingers. But a great deal of water has passed over the foils since then. Ten years later, Team New Zealand is leading the charge once again, but this time with a very different foiling machine, a hydrogen-powered chase boat. In drawing up the protocol for the next event with the British Challenger of Record, both parties were keen to make this a requirement for all teams. And now the first one's afloat. Chase Zero, as she's called, is 10 metres long and designed to cruise at 30 knots with a top speed of 50 and have a range of around 180 kilometres. She's powered by two 80 kilowatt Toyota hydrogen fuel cells, one in each hull, which provide the bulk of the electrical power. When high speeds are required, additional power is drawn from the battery pack, which is then replenished from the fuel cells when Chase 1 is back at lower speeds. The hydrogen fuel is stored in gas form at 350 bar in four 8kg tanks. As with all hydrogen fuel cells, the biggest benefit of all is that the only waste is water. So there's plenty going on behind the scenes. But, of course, the big news that broke a little while ago was the announcement of the venue for the next America's Cup, Barcelona, in 2024. Due to take place shortly after the Olympics, it's going to be a busy year. And while plenty are excited, the response in New Zealand has been one of dismay, even outrage for some. And it's easy to see why. The country has spent a great deal on Cup campaigns. But the bottom line seems to be that raising enough money to host the event on home waters is currently not possible. I spoke recently to team boss Grant Dalton, who not only confirmed how it hadn't been possible to raise sufficient money to host the event and run a team, but also dismissed the idea of a home advantage. It's an interesting point. But setting this aside, I believe that Barcelona will make a very exciting venue for the next America's Cup. And in the piece we ran, I explain why. The link's above. Meanwhile, there's been exciting news on the team front too, with the possibility of another challenger on the verge of stepping into the ring. This time it's K-Challenge, a French team led by Stefan Candler. And if that name rings a bell, you'll be remembering 2004, when Candler's team were challengers in Valencia before becoming Arriva Challenge. As yet, there's no official French entry, but Candler revealed his desire to take part on his Facebook page shortly after Barcelona had been announced. And if he does enter, that would bring the list of challengers to five. And we've still got a few months to go before the entry deadline of the end of July. And after that, the first of the new AC41 designs should be afloat. Next foiling cut might be two years away, but the time's gonna fly too.